Hey folks, and welcome to this video on how to use Google Sheets. We're gonna look at how you get started with Google Sheets, and how you can open them up from Gmail or your Google Drive. Let's dive in and take a look at how it all works. So here we are in my Gmail account here, and the way to get to a spreadsheet is a few ways, but the easiest way would be to click on this Google Apps icon at the top here and then you can come down to your Google Drive icon here. That opens up another tab in your browser. And you can see here in my Google Drive, I have a couple of folders and just some sample documents here as well. So you can see what that looks like. You can organize them so that you can see them in this fashion if you prefer that. To create a new document, just come up to the top here on the plus icon, click that and you get this little menu pop out. So you can create new folders from here. You can upload a file. Um, I'll show you that in a moment. To create a new sheet, just come down and click this icon here. If you want to be more specific, you can hover over this little arrow here to create a blank sheet, or you can choose one from a template. So let's just click this one here. That opens up another tab, and there we go. We've got a Google Sheet ready to go. So it looks very similar to an Excel spreadsheet. I think it's a little bit cleaner, if I'm honest. You know, the menus, there are quite a lot of options within the menus here. We'll dive into all these options in part two, looking around a guided tour of Google Sheets. So make sure you check that video out. I'll pop the link down below in the card above as well. Generally speaking, um, it's quite clean and it's a lot easier to use, I think, than, than Excel. So you can come along and rename your spreadsheet and that saves that automatically to your Google Drive. So if we jump back to the Google Drive here, you can see there it is there in our Google Drive. And the great thing about Google services is you can access your Google accounts from lots of different devices, including your mobile phone. And so you can access you know, your Google Drive and you can access any documents you've created within that Google Drive directly from your phone or your tablet and that type of thing, or any other computer you're logged into for that matter. So let's jump back to the spreadsheet here. So we're gonna close this one and let's try the other way. So if we come back to our email here and click on the Google Apps icon again, and we'll click this Sheets icon here. What that does is it opens up the sort of sheets main landing page and you get to see some of the spreadsheets that you've been working on at the bottom here. You get to have a look at some templates as well or you can just create a blank spreadsheet straight from here. So if we click this that will open up another spreadsheet. we we'll just call this one the second sheet and that's saved to our drive as well. So if we go back to our drive, so let's just have a look, you'll see that we've got those two sheets saved here and of course you can move these things around you can put them into different folders and you can actually within the sheet itself you can come and click this icon here and you can relocate the sheet wherever you want it to be so you could create a new folder within here and you just name it here um, or you can just move it to a different location um, from this point here so it's quite versatile from that point of view so the main benefits i would say working with google sheets is that files are automatically saved to your google drive so that's a real benefit you know you don't have to worry about them getting lost or or you didn't save them they automatically save you have version history as well which is awesome this thing up here um, you can go back and you can see what happened um, obviously there's nothing happened in this sheet but you can see a full history of what happened and you can revert to a previous version if something went wrong you can view, you can edit, and you can share the files directly with a link, which is awesome. Um, you know, you can just come up here and click this and share that to, to friends and colleagues. And the great thing about sharing, of course, is that you're able to collaborate with other people in real time. You know, so you can see where their cursor is within a sheet and they can see your cursor. So you could be on a, on a phone call on a, on a Google Meet, for example, and you could be working on the same sheet at the same time um, and you could see what the other person was entering. So um, real, real benefit that one. Another good thing is that Google Sheets integrates really well with other Google apps, other Google products. So things like um, Google Forms, Google Docs, um, Google Apps Script, all of those things, you know, they work really well. But also it works really well outside of other products as well. Using Apps Script, you can uh, utilize Google Sheets in a multitude of ways to, to pull information from third-party websites um, using that Google Apps Script to pull data into your spreadsheets. It's so powerful from that point of view. And there's some really compelling functions that you can use within Google Sheets. You know, if you just look at the, the function list, there's more than 500 functions in here. Um, so there's generally something for everybody. You know, some of these aren't actually available in, in Excel either. So um, yeah, it's a really good opportunity to try something new. Um, you know, if you're on the fence about sort of switching from uh, Excel to Google, then, you know, you really want to try it because it's, it's probably not as bad as you think it is. In fact, it's, you know, it's probably a whole lot better. With that said, now would be a good time to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to go through a whole ton of different tutorials on how to use Google Sheets and all the formulas that come with it. We can turn you into a pro user in no time. So make sure you subscribe. There's plenty more to come.
Let me just quickly show you what it's like to upload an Excel document into your Google Drive. So here we are in Google Drive. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag an Excel file directly into here. So you just pull it from your computer and drag it over to this window here and you can see it's uploaded it to the to the drive here. So here it is and you can see it's an XLSX file. Now you can see the icon is slightly different to these ones. These ones were created with Google Sheets and this one is actually an Excel file. So if we open it up, it looks a little bit different, but it does pretty much everything that a Google file can do, a Google Sheets file. There are a few limitations. Um, you know, you can't use certain functions with the Excel file, but generally speaking, you can do most things. So you, if you get an Excel file and you don't have Excel on your computer, you know, you just upload it to your Google Drive and you can, you can work with it directly as a Microsoft Excel file. The other thing you could do is you could come along and save it as a Google Sheet itself. And then of course you could use other functions um, that aren't available using it as the Microsoft Excel version. But when you do that, it opens up another version of that. And if we jump back into the drive here, you can see that we have this one that's now a Google Sheet and this one, which is the original Microsoft Excel file. It also handles uh, CSV files, no problem at all. So here's a CSV file, we just drop, drop that in there. And you can see it looks a little bit different, but when we open it up, it looks like this, you know, so you can view the, the data. But the great thing about Google Sheets is that if we jump up to the settings up here and jump, go to settings here, we can tick this box here to convert uploads to the Google Docs format. So now if I upload that file again, the CSV file, so here it is here. So it's converted it to a Google Sheets format. So this was a CSV file and now we can use it as directly as a Google Sheets format. And this, this isn't an Excel file, it's just purely Google Sheets, but you can see it's still got the .csv down here, but that doesn't matter, that's just text. You know, we can rename this and we can get rid of that .csv. That, do, that doesn't change anything, that's just the file name. There's some really good reasons to, to use Google Sheets. You know, if you're using Excel, or maybe you, 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 know, you just don't have Excel, maybe you're using some other service to access Excel files. You know, you just don't have to because Google Sheets is so powerful. You can just drop an Excel file in as you've seen here and work, work on it either as a Microsoft Excel file. When you save it, when you change something in, in a Microsoft file like this one, um, when you save it, it saves it as a Microsoft Excel file. So, you know, you could continue to work with Excel files or you can convert to Google Sheets. Either way, it doesn't matter. So that's just a quick overview of getting started with Google Sheets. Stay tuned for part two, where in the next video we're going to look at a guided tour around Google Sheets, looking at all these different options in the, in the formatting ribbon and in the menus and other buttons and features that are available in Google Sheets. What do you think? Let me know your comments. Do you prefer Excel or are you convinced that Google Sheets might be an option to try in the future? Be interesting to hear your thoughts. Pop your comments down below. Thanks for watching folks. Catch you in the next one.